so we are going to focus on the comparison of the Skylac i7-6700 with the uh, and compare it with the Haswell i5-4570 so obviously Skylac Skylake is the recently launched processor and for a given clock frequency it performs better than the Haswell but the question is to what extent. Uh, the first thing you also need to notice is the cache memory of uh, 6700 is higher at 8 MB versus 6 MB in the i5-4570 and the second thing is the i7 versus i5 it means that we have even though both of them are quad core we have a support for hyper threading in the Skylac which means that given the same flock frequency it will perform 15 to 18 percent more. Now the Skylac processor also has a higher base clock frequency 3.4 gigahertz versus 3.2 gigahertz and a higher turbo clock frequency. Uh, the, the point to notice is even though it has a higher clock frequency supports hyper threading and higher cache it still manages to bring the power envelope down to 65 watts and that is remarkable ab about Skylac that is made possible by the 14 nanometer lithography versus 22 nanometer lithography in the Haswell. So obviously we are going to see a better performance for a Skylac compared to the Haswell in this particular case. Uh, to what extent uh, for this we will need to go to the benchmark which shows almost 10,000 for i7-6700 versus 7,020 for i5-4500. So, it is more than 30 percent performance difference of course, it comes at the price you need to pay 150 percent higher for the Skylac i7 versus the Haswell. The other thing that you want to notice is this Skylac supports the new DDR4 memory it works at 1.2 fold and therefore it uh, preserves some power that is in addition to the processor taking only 65 watt versus 84 watt. So, even though the performance does not scale up that much significantly even though it is not insignificant that 30 percent more than 30 percent we have a power saving as well in case of uh, Haswell it works at DDR3 at 1.5 volt the performance of DDR4 and DDR3 at this point is same, but we get the better power better and lower power. Uh, for other things let us move on we have HD graphics 530 which is marginally better than the 4600. So, that basically covers most of the things and differences in the bottom line we have a significantly faster processor that also consumes lower power and comes at 50 percent higher price 200 dollars versus 300 dollars. So, if you can afford that extra 100 dollars and you do need this higher processing power I would support going with the Skylac processor. Thanks for taking a look.